Hi everybody. This question is from Wendy and she wanted to know if she's not getting sore every workout, if she needs to increase her weight or work out harder. Um, I don't think you have to get sore every time. Um, if you're not getting sore every time, it doesn't mean that you're not having good workouts. The whole goal is to, in my opinion anyway, is to feel like you got a good workout when you're done. If you feel good about what you did and feel, feel like you um, got a good pump or a good workout, just because you don't get sore doesn't mean that it wasn't a good workout. So you can't judge if you're having a good workout by the soreness that you get afterwards. So um, if you look at it this way, you know if you ever take a week or two off, the first time you come back in and train everything, each body part, again, you get sore. Does that mean that you had a good workout? No, it just means that you kind of lost some of your conditioning um, from taking the time off. So when you take time off like that, usually when you come back, you're going to get a little sore just because your body hasn't done it for a couple weeks. So um, you can look at it kind of that way. But yes, I think you still want to get sore here and there. And I think it's good because to me, that's a sign that you've stimulated the muscle in a um, different way or um, a harder way. Usually, um, if you've increased your weight on something and you've pushed really hard, um, or you've pushed harder and done more reps with the weight than you've ever done, sometimes those things will make you sore. Um, sometimes just changing things up will make you sore. Um, and that's good. I think it is good to get sore here and there, but I don't think, I don't think it's necessary to be sore every time to mean that you have a good workout or had a good workout. For me, I go by my pump and either that or just feeling beat. Sometimes those um, 15, 20, and 30 minute blasts make you just feel beat after you're done. And you might not necessarily have a pump, but you just, you were sweating and you were pushing hard and you just feel done. <laughs> um, to me, that's, that's a good workout. Um, you want to challenge yourself each time. If I do, um, if I'm training just one body part and I'm doing more straight sets, maybe trying to lift heavier um, or moderate, it depends. I vary my rep ranges and I think that's important to vary your rep ranges and not stick to the same thing all the time. Um, I kind of listen to my body and how I'm feeling for that day. So some days I'm having stronger days and feel like straight sets and other days I'm not feeling quite as strong, so I vary my rep ranges. And I think it, make, it helps your body too to vary, vary your rep ranges and not stick to the same thing all the time. To me, it's the intensity that makes you grow, and it's not necessarily lifting heavy all the time, especially as we get older. Sometimes our joints just can't do that and lift heavy all the time. So I think it's good to listen to your body and when I'm training more straight sets and just maybe focusing on one body part or two body parts at a time, I go more for the pump. So my goal for that workout is to get the biggest, tightest, best pump that I can get during that workout. And that's my goal. And to put um, my whole self into each set and get the most out of each set. I think if you're um, using each set and pushing it the best that you can. You don't have to do tons of sets, and each set almost um, is like a layer, and the, the pump just gets bigger and bigger and bigger with each set that you do. And for me, it's that pump. It's just all the blood getting in the muscle, and um, the muscle swelling, and the skin feeling tighter, so um, that's the feeling that I go for. And if I, and to me, I think there's a fine line, at least from what I've learned over the years for me. Um, I've been doing this for 25, 26 years. Um, for me, there's a fine line as to how much I can do. 
So I go until I get that pump. And once I get that pump and it just feels really full and tight, I might do like maybe one more set and then say I'm done. I, for me, I can tell when I'm done. I know when I'm done and I know um, how to not go past that and overtrain. And I think that's really easy to do is to overtrain. So for me, I like the feel of the pump and, and going for that pump. And then for like the 15, 20, and 30 minute blasts, those usually just sometimes you're hitting, you can hit just one body part or you can hit two or three body parts or you can hit your whole body part in those. And those, um, because it's a different type of workout, you don't really get to rest and catch your breath. You're trying to get as many rounds in that short a time that you can, so you're constantly moving. So it gives you a little bit more of a um, cardio conditioning effect too. So you're getting a lot of lungs in there too. Lungs plus the muscle groups that you're training. And sometimes you might not feel the same type of pump that you do when you're doing straight sets, but still it's like, you're gonna get, you're gonna still get a, a pretty good pump, but you're just gonna feel tired and beat. And to me, you know, that's a good, good workout too. And um, if I'm training on a continuous basis, I don't get, I don't get sore. Um, one thing, like in the past, that always used to get well, two things that always used to get sore every single time were my chest and my hamstrings. Um, everything else, if I'm training consistently, would only get sore here and there. So, um, and I was still growing and still making good gains and stuff. So. To answer the question, just because you're not getting sore doesn't mean that you aren't pushing hard enough. Um, don't use that as your gauge. But you do want to challenge yourself. I would use the workout that you're doing to gauge if you're not pushing yourself hard enough. And for me, it's a pump where it's just a sense of just feeling done. It's not about that you can do more. It's about being inside your body and feeling if you're done. If you look at it, I mean, yeah, you can always do more. You can always do another set or two of whatever you're doing. But you have to get inside your body and feel it from the inside and tell if it's done or not. And to me, there's a fine line of coming up to that point of being done and making your body work and challenge, challenge yourself. And then there's going past that point and then overtraining. So to me, there's a, a fine line that you want to come to. <laughs> um, so anyway, Wendy, I hope that answered your question. And I feel like I've been rambling and babbling. So um, post below um, if you have any comments, if this made sense or not, or if you have any more questions about this topic, um, post below or send me a message. And um, I'll see you next time. OK, bye bye.